Hey guys, Preston Bill, Comic Book Universe, and I'm running Black Panther and the Crew, issue number one. Now, we actually had the original crew. This was back in 2003, and there were seven issues put together. That was a pretty cool comic. This particular comic is kind of taking up where the first one left off a different team on this. Uh, the writer is Tanahishi Coates, and the penciler is Butch Juice, and I think I'm pronouncing those names right. I'm actually not so sure about the juice, especially. It might be Goose, but... Um, listen, if you are the writer or the penciler and you are seeing this video, this review, and if I butchered your name, I want to generally, personally apologize. Not my intent at all. Okay, so <laughs> with this comic, this is basically, this issue at least, is centered, focused on Misty Knight. You kind of got a, a thing in the past where a crew is going around and taking care of things. And and it's actually, you know, I'm not going to spoil the beginning, most importantly, because it was actually really cool the way they did it. I love the way that they put together the whole beginning, how the neighborhood was made safe. Now we jump to the present and it actually starts off in the same place that the uh, original The Crew left off, which was in Little Mogadishu. Uh, and if you're not familiar, Mogadishu is the uh, main city of Somalia. Uh, it's also called Hamar by other tribes there. So it's anyway, it's supposed to be uh, reminiscent of a place that's kind of dangerous. So <laughs> whatever. And it's actually, if you read the original crew, it's actually very close to a very ritzy area of New York City, uh, like a gated community. All right. So there, it's kind of like a, a no man's land in between. And that's that's kind of interesting. It is. But regardless, Misty is investigating the death of an activist. And this guy, he, the story again is actually pretty interesting the way that they pull it off. And this guy, he got arrested in some kind of a protest. And when he went to jail, it was a city jail and he died two days later. And it's mysterious circumstances there. Misty goes, Misty's actually asked by a woman, a, a tall black woman uh, with shades on and her hair wrapped up. Her name is Blue in this. Yeah. I don't know. I personally wasn't fooled by this at all. I knew exactly who this was. And basically, it's Storm. You're going to see at the end anyway. You're going to see in the on the cover, it says who's involved in this. Uh, we don't see anything from Black Panther. We don't see anything from Manifold, which is interesting also. If you're not familiar with Manifold, I know you're familiar with Black Panther. Come on. But if you're not familiar with Manifold, he is a teleporting mut mutant. Uh, I believe he is Aboriginal. Uh, Gateway was actually his mentor. Uh, Gateway is the guy, if you remember from uh, The Siege Perilous and certain uh, stories like that uh, with the Reavers back in the X-Men uh, when Chris Claremont was still on it. Anyway, so this story involves the Americops, which you will find all about in the Captain America Sam Wilson comics. And <laughs> wow. So I'm actually very pleased to see that they brought that element of those stories over to here. Very, very cool because they're an excellent quote unquote villain. I'm making air quotes right now. <laughs> it's a very cool villain that I'm very pleased to see used someplace else. So basically she says that, yeah, it seems like there is something wrong here. And in the end, the AmeriCorps, America cops come in and, and she's got to put a beating on some of them. Storm, uh, got kind of jumped and then she, regains her senses and just wipes out an entire legion of these things and forget about it, man. This comic ends with the promise that next issue, we're going to see a, a story that's kind of focused more around storm. Very, very cool. That pleases me greatly. Now I'm going to give this comic a B. The reason why I'm going to give this comic this for me, it's kind of a neutral grade, all right? When I'm really pleased with a comic, but there's something wrong with it, that I usually put it in around the B section. It kind of makes sense, right? Listen, this comic will do one of two things, and it's because of the language, right? Because the, the art in this is fantastic. Good job, Butch, all right? But as far as the, the writing is on point, it's perfect, but the, the writing itself, the language that is used in here, you will either get it, it will put you in, like if you watch the Luke Cage series, all right, you will understand the, I, I think you should be able to understand the language, no problem. But if not, then it's going to take you out of the story. But if you understand the language, it's going to put you right smack dead in the middle of the story and it's going to be very realistic. And for me, it was great, but I could see it being divisive and it shouldn't be, it doesn't have to be, but I do believe that it will be. And it's a shame, but that is what it is. 
In the meantime, this comic was very fun to read. I do genuinely recommend that you go out, pick this up, support this. Let's see if we can actually get some more stories out of here. Uh, also, it looks like we're going to see more White Panther. Uh, White Panther. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, White Tiger. Because the White Tiger that was in the original The Crew, it looks like uh, World of Wakanda isn't over yet. We might just very well get an issue, or we are going to get an issue six. And right on the cover is the White Tiger. Uh, it looks like the Black Panther in white, but wearing a trench coat, right? Nah. That's White Tiger. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that too. Guys, you heard it here first. All right, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.